The wise Stoic philosopher Seneca uttered a lasting truth. It's not that we have little time, but rather that we waste much of it inspired by this timeless wisdom. We are prompted to reflect on how our time management and daily choices directly impact our journey and well-being in tune with Stoic philosophy. Let's explore habits that diverts us from the path of certain seek ways to recapture Stoicism. Direction amidst the complexities of contemporary life and as customary, before we begin I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and remember to enable notifications, thus helping me continue spreading Stoic wisdom habits, one to be eliminated, giving into procrastination. Imagine having important projects to complete essential tasks accomplish, and instead of diligently moving forward, you find yourself constantly postponing these responsibilities. Maybe it's a crucial report you need to write, but instead off starting to get distracted or procrastinate until the deadline becomes imminent, or perhaps you have long-term goals, but instead of taking consistent action, you succumb to procrastination. Postponing the progress that could take you closer to your objectives in an era of digital distraction and constant man procrastination becomes an easy trap to fall into the pursuit of instant gratification and temporary avoidance of responsibilities often lead us to postpone important tasks. Compromising your personal and professional growth practically speaking, procrastination is like postponing the ascent of a mountain. You may temporarily feel relief by avoiding hard work but eventually you will realize that you're getting farther away from reaching your goals. This roller coaster of productivity prevents us from achieving a consistent sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. The prudent approach would be to find internal motivational procrastination deprives us of personal and professional fulfillment and the solution lies in acknowledging that true satisfaction comes from tasks completion and continuous progress to incorporate this principal principle of overcoming procrastination, the next time you feel the temptation to postpone a task pause and reflect on why I am procrastinating. I committed to my personal and professional growth if the answer is yes. Then immediate and consistent action should be the priority. Remember, while temporary relief may be enticingly true, satisfaction and fulfillment come from continuous effort and completing important tasks Rather than procrastination that steers us away from more goal habits are two to be eliminated. Living in perpetual dissatisfaction, imagine looking around and feeling constant dissatisfaction with what you have, be it your career, your home, your accomplishments, or even your appearance. You constantly find yourself wishing for more, comparing your life to others and questioning whether what you have is truly enough. Relentless pursuit of more can become a trap, leading to anxiety, discontent, and even harming close relationships. Living perpetual dissatisfaction is like being on an endless quest for something that never seems attainable. Modern society often encourages us to relentlessly pursue the next goal. Next achievement without truly appreciating or valuing what well ready possess this mindset can leave us in a constant state of restlessness. Undermining our ability to enjoy the, the present Stoic philosophy offers a valuable perspective on dissatisfaction. Seneca, the Stoica philosopher, stated that man is unhappy because he doesn't know he's happy on lead that this Stoic wisdom suggests that true satisfaction doesn't come from the relentless pursuit of more, but from cultivating a conscious appreciation for what we've already have. Therefore, the next time you find yourself immersed in dissatisfaction, pause and reflect is their relentless pursuit of more genuinely bringing lasting happiness. Am I neglecting the joys and achievements present in my life? Practicing gratitude and acknowledging the blessings of the present can be a powerful way to break the cycle of dissatisfaction with adopting this stoic approach allows you to find contentment. In the little things, recognizing the true wealth lies in appreciating the present instead of constantly chasing an idealized future and by doing so, you build a solid foundation for happiness centered on acceptance and gratitude for what is rather than getting lost in the endless pursuit of what has not yet been achieved habit three to be eliminated resisting the uncertainty of imaging yourself at a crossroads. 
facing an imminent change in your life. Whether in your career relationships or lifestyle, instead of embracing the opportunity for growth and learning. Feel paralyzed by uncertainty and resistance to change often driven by the fear of the unknown become a self-imposed prison. Limiting your potential for real evolution is inherently fluid and filled with inevitable transitions and transformations. However, aversion to uncertainty can lead us to cling to the familiar, even if it means staying in situations that no longer serve us. Apparent stability may offer a temporary sense of comfort, but over time, refusing acceptance of changes can result in personal and professional stagnation. Stoic philosophy reminds Uso of the impermanence of life transient nature of all things. Embracing this fundamental truth can be liberating. Stoic teachings encourage us to embrace life's constant flow, recognizing the true freedom comes from accepting uncertainty. Just as the river flows incessantly, life is constantly in motion. Resistance to uncertainty is like trying holding water in your hands is futile. Battle that only brings frustration. Instead, we can learn to swim. With the current embrace of changes as opportunities for growth and discovery, therefore, the next time you find yourself facing the uncertainty off changes, take a deep breath and ask yourself, Am I resisting something that could be a disguised blessing? Is this resistance preventing me from evolving and reaching my full potential by cultivating a mindset of acceptance and adaptability? You position yourself to transform uncertainty into a springboard. For personal development and lasting fulfillment habit to be eliminated nourishing vices. Imagine facing the temptation of a vicious habit whether related to food substances or harmful behaviors instead of seeking a healthy balance you indulge recklessly, falling into the tear trap of compulsively feeding these vices. This relentless pursuit of immediate gratification can result in negative consequences for physical, mental, and emotional health in contemporary society. We are often bombarded by stimuli that can turn into addictions from excessive consumption of processed foods to dependence on substances or destructive behaviors, seeking a temporary escape from life's pressures can lead to a downward spiral where the vice becomes a relentless master, Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of self-mastery Epicus, stated that it is easier to control at the beginning than at the end. This Stoic perspective encourages us to be aware of four vicious inclinations before they gain unrestrained control over our lives. Just as a gardener tends to their garden, it is crucial to cultivate a healthy relationship with our desires and impulses instead of allowing vices to dominate us. We can practice moderation. And self-awareness, ask yourself, is this habit truly contributing to my long-term health and happiness? Or is it merely momentary gratification facing our vices can free us from the chains that keep us bound in destructive patterns? The first step is to acknowledge the harmful nature of these behaviors and then gradually work towards a more balanced life by cultivating the inner strength to resist the attention. You create a solid foundation for a healthier, fuller, and more meaningful life, habit five to be eliminated. Remaining in the comfort zone, imagine yourself in a boat anchored in a harbor safe and stable. But with the vast ocean in front of you, full of opportunities and adventures waiting to be discovered, however, instead of setting sailing and exploring the unknown. Choose to stay safe in the familiarity of the harbor excessively staying in the comfort zone can be like anchoring your journey of personal and professional growth. The comfort zone is that cozy place where we feel secure, familiar, and competent. However, while this area offers a temporary sense of security while staying in it for too long can result in stagnation and lack of progress. Just as a garden needs cultivation to flourish, our lives require new challenges and experiences. To grow and thrive, Stoics emphasize the importance of challenges and overcoming adversity as an essential means for personal development. Seneca wrote, is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it remaining. In the comfort zone often means missing out on opportunities for learning and growth. And discovery, imagine two individuals. Facing a challenging job opportunity, one chooses to stay in their current position. Avoiding the unknown while the other decides to embrace the challenge of facing new responsibilities and learning valuable skills. 
While the former may feel temporarily comfortable, the latter is investing in their own development. To break the habit of settling into the comfort zone, it is crucial to cultivate a growth mindset regularly challenges yourself to do something that takes you slightly out of your comfort zone. Whether it's learning a new skill or taking on a challenging task at work or engaging in activities that promote personal growth, the next time you find yourself hesitant in the face of an opportunity outside your comfort zone. Ask yourself, is this hesitation based on a real risk or simply the fear of the unknown by embracing uncertainty and by challenging yourself? You not only expand your horizons, but also discover new strength and resilience within your self habit. Six, to be eliminated over confidence. Imagine yourself in a challenging situation, a new task at work, for instance. Instead of approaching the situation with humility and a willingness to learn that you exude excessive self-confidence, convinced that you can handle anything effortlessly. While self-confidence is a valuable quality when we exceed the limits and become overly confident, we're risk underestimating challenges and ignoring valuable advice and compromising or personal growth. Self-confidence is a powerful tool, but like any tool, it requires moderation and balance. The fine line between healthy and excessive confidence can be subtle and when crossed, it can lead to arrogance. Behaviors resistance to constructive feedback and even failures that could have been avoided with a more humble approach Stoics, like Seneca, remind us of the importance of knowing our limitations. Excessive self-confidence often hinders the critical self-reflection necessary for self-development instead of diving into a mindset of continuous learning those you overly confident may remain trapped in a bubble of self-affirmation. Failing to acknowledge your ears for improvement, consider two colleagues faced with a new project aware of their skills approaches the task with respect to its complexity willing to learn from others. The other excessively confident underestimates the challenges and assumes they can easily handle everything alone, one while the former grows through experience and effectively collaborates. The latter may face unnecessary obstacles due to theoretical self-confidence to overcome the habit of excessive self-confidence. It is crucial to cultivate humility instead of considering yourself invulnerable open to continuous learning and constructive feedback by recognizing and accepting the limitations you create space for genuine personal growth. True confidence lies not only in believing in your abilities, but also in the ability to adapt, learn, and constantly evolve. Habit 7 to be eliminated, dwelling on resentments or unhappiness. Imagine yourself in a scenario where life offers a constant spectacle filled with opportunities for new beginnings and renewed joys. However, Instead of fully engaging in this spectacle, you find yourself trapped in a cycle of dwelling. On past resentments, nurturing persistent pots about disappointments, unresolved challenges, and moments of unhappiness, similar to carrying a heavy emotional burden of the habit of dwelling on resentments and unhappiness is like being chained to past events, preventing you from moving forward and savoring the fresh experiences of the present each time. These painful memories resurface. They cast a shadow over the potential brightness of current and future moments. Stoic philosophy reminds us of the influence of our opinions about events in our lives. Epicus emphasize that men are redisturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them, just as in the case of living in the past and suffering does not solely reside in the past. Experiences, but in the persistence of negative thoughts accompanying them. Consider two individuals facing similar challenges one faces when encountering difficulties and chooses to learn from them. Release resentments and focus on personal growth the other, however, remains attached to resentment. Continuously repeating the cycle of unhappiness to break the habit of dwelling on resentments, it is essential to practice forgiveness, not only for others, but also for yourself. That everyone makes mistakes and face adversities but these experiences do not define your present or future. Mindfulness also plays a crucial role. When negative thoughts begin to arise, gently bring your mind back to the present, focusing on what is around you and the possibilities of the current moment offers by releasing the shackles of the past. Resentments you free yourself to embrace a lighter present and build a more promising and fulfilling future.
thing thank you for staying with the video until this point is for those who made it to themed. Please write in the comments so I know you stayed until the end. Alternatively, share which of these habits you believe are urgent to remove from your life.